This is the cut cross section of a fuel pump of MAN BMW MC engine. You can see the different parts. We have the camp follower and the roller guide below. You can also see the VIT actuator and the rack. The, you can see here the fuel pump plunger barrel and on top here we have the puncture valve assembly. Now as we go down we can see the different parts of the fuel pump, the spring housing and here we have the erosion plug. The erosion plug is a very important component of the fuel pump and you can also see the spill ports and as you come down you can see the o-ring and the backup rim. Here we have again the uh, VIT actuator and you can see the actuator connected to the fuel pump. Now as we come down you can see the uh, reversing mechanism, the reversing cylinder and I will also show you how it operates and reverses the fuel pump. Let's see how a puncture valve operates. A puncture valve operates when it is supplied with compressed air from the safety air system. As the puncture valve is supplied with compressed air, the piston pushes down. This results in the spill ports which I highlighted earlier. They get uncovered and the fuel from the fuel pump flows back to the pump casing and this results in no injection, zero injection and thus the engine comes to a halt. Now let's look at how VIT or variable injection timing system works. A VIT system consists of an actuator which is connected to the fuel pump via a rack. As the actuator is actuated by compressed air, this results in rack pushing forward which will result in position of barrel advancing with respect to the plunger and this results in delayed injection. This delayed injection can be really helpful during low load operation and results in achieving the desired Pmax. Now let's look at how amount of fuel delivered is regulated. The plunger is moved by the fuel rack and now it is set for maximum delivery. The spill ports are fully sealed and which will result in maximum output. Now let me show you the fuel rack and now I have set it to the minimum position and as you can see the spill ports are fully unsealed and this will result in zero injection and thus the engine will come to a stop. The component you see here is a shock absorber. The purpose of a shock absorber is to dampen any pressure fluctuations within the fuel system and to protect the pump from any damage 